Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this channel. My name is Anthony and I'm excited to start um, what I hope will be a very successful weight loss journey. I, uh, you may have come here because you searched weight loss or uh, I want to lose 100 pounds or um, maybe you're searching for the you know particular program that I'm using. Uh, whatever the reason you found the channel, thanks for watching. Um, I hope it's useful for you. I think more than anything, this will be useful for me to document what I'm doing to hold myself accountable and uh, maybe also have some fun. And, and if it helps other people, awesome. That's fantastic. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm uh, 30, 34, 35. It's funny. It's, but you get to like mid thirties, early thirties, and you just it doesn't matter anymore. Like it, the age just doesn't matter anymore, uh, except for the fact that you start like feeling old. That's part of the reason why I want to get healthier and better shaped uh, because things are just like not working how they did a decade ago. Um, things hurt that never hurt before, and. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, things, you don't bounce back as as easily as you did before. And for me, I think a lot of the reason is because uh, I just, I'm not at my optimal health right now. And that's, that's where I'd like to go. Um, so I have a wife, I have four kids. Uh, I love them all dearly. The, my kids are still uh, quite young. Uh, the oldest is eight. The youngest is 18 months and, and two in between. And um uh, you know, I want to see them grow up and have their own kids and see their kids have kids. And um, I want to be able to go on fun, like active vacations with my family and just do things on the weekend. And there's a number of things that I just choose not to do now because I'm embarrassed to put on a swimsuit or because, uh, you know, it's too painful to walk five miles or to go on a bike ride um and that makes me sad and that makes me want to change and to just improve myself so i can be better for them so i can enjoy um my time with them and so that they can enjoy me um because i think it's you know i i'm just not being my best self for them and i want to change that um so I've done plenty of dieting and, and maybe not plenty of exercise, but some exercise um, over the years and um, to varying success. Like I've done the low carb thing and that works really well for me. The problem is um, for me is I get bored or whatever it is, discouraged maybe that, you know, the initial rush of weight loss stops all of a sudden um, and um and for whatever reason, I stop. And I've done the, you know, just try and eat less. Just eat less. And um, I maybe can do that for a few days, but then then I, I lose the willpower. Um, so I'm the classic yo-yo diet, or maybe you find yourself in that, um, in that category as well. And uh, whatever successes I've had in the past, I always end up putting the weight back on and am... And I'm now at the heaviest weight I've ever been. I haven't weighed myself um, today or, or, or lately, but um, last time I weighed myself was probably in the 320, 320 to 330 pound range, which um, by any standard, unless you're, you know, some beefcake, uh, it's not a healthy weight. And I, by all means, am not a beefcake. Um, I'm getting so old though. Look at, oh man, look at that, all that gray hair like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Um, it was very distinguished, maybe, I don't know. Um, see, this is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna lose my train of thought very frequently. Um, so what I'm doing, the program I, I'm doing, I'm sure everyone's interested, and if you're finding this, hopefully you're finding this video like nine months from now, and you're like, oh, that guy lost a lot of weight, let's see where he started, and you're looking at this, and you're like, oh my gosh, Anthony, wow, like, Good for you. Wow, you did it. Um, hopefully that's the case. 
If not, I'm still going to be plugging along. Maybe I look very similar to how I look now. Maybe my health is, you know, marginally improved, and, but I'm, I'm still at it, hopefully. Um, I get, I, the key is don't give up, right? And I, I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I just need to not give up anymore and just keep trying until something works. So what I'm doing now, well, I, I start tomorrow. So tonight I'm going to weigh myself. I'm going to take the pictures, the before pictures that hopefully become the whoa pictures in, in some time from now. And, and I look back on and think, wow, look look what I've accomplished. That's, that's the goal. I'm going to take those tonight, do the measurements. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to start Optavia. And if you haven't heard of it, you're essentially eating five small meals. These are called fuelings under their program, and um, and then one bigger, although not big, meal um, at some point throughout the day. That's primarily kind of like a low carb keto type of meal where you've got your your protein and you've got your veggies um, and some healthy fat. And so that's that's the plan. Why am I doing this? Well, one, I have um, a friend, my wife's friend, um, who has a lot of success on the program and she's a coach and and so she's coaching me now and um, I'm grateful for for her help and excited to work with her and learn from her and uh, and hopefully achieve similar results Um, and you know there's I don't know all the science behind weight loss I don't know if it's calories in calories out I don't know if it's just eat these types of food I don't know if it's carbohydrate restriction I don't know if it's you got to exercise and get your metabolism. I don't know any of it. I mean, I've read a lot about it. I have my ideas on it. I know what's worked at least for periods of time. Um, but I've never had long-term sustained weight loss. So at this point, I'm kind of up for anything. And to have um, someone that I know who's had very successful weight loss recently, um, talk so highly about this program, I feel like I have to give it a shot um, because I have to do something and what I've done in the past just isn't working. So anyways, without going on too much, that's that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be learning a lot about the program still. Uh, I haven't opened my box yet, so I'll, I'll video that tonight as well. You can see everything that comes in like your first shipment. So you buy those five small meals that I was talking about. They call fuelings. You buy the fuelings from Optavia. I don't know if you can make your own, like if there's if cost is a concern. Like I did the math, and for me, the cost of the five fuelings was basically the same thing I was paying like to go out to lunch every day at work. Um, and so it wasn't, it's not really a cost for me. It's just swapping out what I was eating out, uh, the money I was spending eating out. And so I'm taking that money and I'm just buying these feelings and, you know, hopefully they work for me. And if I follow the program strictly, I, I think they will. Um, so I'll open the box. I'll show you all what, what comes in like your first shipment. And if you're interested in that, um, and if you're just interested in like the weight loss progress, uh, there will be video updates on that as well and uh you know hopefully there's if there's two videos there wasn't a lot of progress and so hopefully there's more than two videos more than one video hopefully this video makes it there someday am i recording i'm recording um okay so i'll throw i'll i'll put all the measurements i'll put the actual weight i'll put that all all in here somewhere um i'll show you the 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 box the optavia box and materials that come with it so you know if you're on the fence about should i do this program should i not you'll at least see kind of what comes with it and uh you know maybe throughout i'll I'll kind of give some tips if uh, if i have any along the way what i'm learning um i did want to kind of go through one document that my coach sent me and um i don't know if this is like an optavia document or if this is just something uh, she put together or someone else put together for her but it kind of asks some questions as you're getting ready to start this program. And the biggest thing is your why, like what's your why for doing this? Why do you want to do it? And I thought about that some, and I kind of alluded to a lot of it before. Um, I mean, it's my family. I, I want to be with them. I want to be there for them. I want to enjoy them. I want them to enjoy me and I want to be the best version of me. And that doesn't mean necessarily, um, being comfortable like swimming uh, with my shirt on or off. 
And even if I lose like a bunch of weight, I think I'll keep it on because I'm not a piece of meat, okay? All right, what's a double standard with guys and girls? Plus, I don't want to get skin cancer. That's a different subject. Um, <laughs> and I don't, uh, it doesn't, so it doesn't necessarily mean like being super skinny or super buff or whatever. Like, that's a secondary thing. And if any of that actually happens, awesome. But I'm super nervous about keeping this weight on and it being detrimental to my long-term health and it shortening my life and making the life that I do have left um, impaired in some way or limiting the joy I have. That's a big fear of mine. I want to have a very joyful, full life. Um, and I don't think I can as I currently am. So that's a big why. Um, I also want to show my kids that I can do hard things. This is a very hard thing. It's been a struggle um, since I was like 10. I can remember feeling ashamed and embarrassed about my body. And I don't, I want them to know that I can overcome challenges. Um, I think I've been pretty blessed throughout my life um, to be like diligent and, and have uh, perseverance and like when hard things come my way I've generally overcome them and um, this is one thing that I've just haven't been able to overcome so I want them to see me do it um, I think that's really important for me and, and, and for them uh, another reason you know I just have a bunch of old clothes I want to wear again I'm super cheap I don't want to buy new clothes. I'm just kidding. If you know me, I'm not super cheap at all. I have no problem buying new clothes. But I hate that I have to continually buy new clothes. Like, it's getting to the point where it's like every six months I have to update the wardrobe because things aren't fitting. And that is lame. Um, I want to wear the clothes I bought for longer than six months. And I, there's many pieces of clothing I've held onto. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, like for your mental health, like, should you keep those old clothes that don't fit anywhere? I don't know. But I haven't thrown a lot of them away because in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, well, I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to want to wear this again. I, there, there's pieces of clothing I've never worn because I bought them and by the time I want to put them on, like, they fit in the dressing room and, like, a couple weeks or a month later or whatever, or I bought it out of season, right? And then when the season came around by then, I was too big for it. It was too tight, and um, and I was too embarrassed to wear it. And so I have clothes that I've just never worn, and I'd like to wear them. I'd like to try them on. There's many other reasons. Um, yeah, I have family that um, has struggled with, with weight loss as well. I want to be hopefully an inspiration to them and, and an ally, an asset, a resource to them. That would be fantastic. And friends and whoever... You know comes across this video and is struggling I hopefully would be an inspiration to them as well and yeah so those are the reasons I don't I don't want to keep going on I have more reasons uh, that maybe you know maybe I'll share at some point and maybe their new reasons come up um, anyways that that's kind of what's on my mind right now then there's some other questions in this document so one um, I'll skip ones that I've kind of already basically hit on what were your thoughts about yourself when you were at your heaviest? Well, I'm at my heaviest right now. And my thoughts about myself are a lot of times, um, a lot of times I'm okay with myself. Like generally I'm a pretty confident person. Um, I don't have a problem getting up in front of a crowd, things like that. Um, but when I look at pictures of myself or videos of myself, I get very negative about how I look. Um, and I wonder how, how did I let myself get to this point? Um, it, it didn't, well, I'm the rare exception where it did happen overnight. I was like 160 pounds, pretty ripped. And uh, I, I fell, fell asleep when Christmas Eve, ate everything, every cookie around the world, turned into Santa that night. Just kidding, that's not me. It took, I, I've been overweight since I was nine, 10 years old. Um, but it's, you know, the weight's increased. 
regardless of like the, the natural growth of a 10 year old like i haven't i haven't really grown any taller since i've been 16 or so but i've i've, I've grown <laughs> there i remember once visiting my grandpa and uh and he looked at my brother who's like six three i'm five nine my brother's six three and he looked at my brother he's like whoa you've really grown and then he looked at me he goes whoa you've really grown <laughs> uh that doesn't feel good uh, you laugh about it you you learn to laugh at the jokes about yourself uh you learn to make jokes about yourself i don't want to be the butt of anyone's joke anymore i remember in junior high and high school being laughed at in gym class um being made fun of i don't want this to be a negative video so what are my thoughts about myself sometimes shame sometimes embarrassment if i'm being honest um also there's optimism and hope that i know i look like this now i know i feel like this now but i also know that i can look and feel so much better um so fluctuates a lot of how I think about myself, but I, as right now in this moment, I feel great because I've made the decision to, to change and, and that's great. That gives me hope. And so let's, let's press forward. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Who is your biggest encourager? Uh, who is excited? You are sorry. This journey, my wife, Laura, she is my biggest encourager. I love her to death. She's wonderful. Um, she herself, she hasn't really struggled with um, weight issues. She's had four kids, and and um, she's she looks amazing. She would look amazing to me regardless of her weight. But um, she's a good inspiration to me. She goes to the gym. She self regulates on how she eats. Like you know, there's some people who like you look at and you're like you just like stopped eating like how did you do that how did you just stop eating when you were full because when i get full that means i just go on to the like the next helping right like you should probably stop at like the second serving um i'm gonna stop at the third or fourth maybe or it's like it's like mo what most people experience at thanksgiving is like a tuesday night for me where it's like Oh, I can't possibly eat another ball, <laughs> right? And uh, and then you know, 18 bites later, you're like, okay, no, seriously, I'm done. And then the pie comes out. Um, so, Lara is great. She's a good example of just how you should be living uh, f from a health perspective for me. And and um, and she's so encouraging. She's never once ever said anything to me about like you need to lose weight. Like that's never ever come out of her mouth. Um, but she's always been very encouraging when I've gone to her and said, I want to try this. I want to do this. Um, and having someone like that in your life is so important, so special. I'm so grateful to have her. And she's totally in on this, this program uh, that I'm going to start tomorrow. And she's supportive of it. And um, if it doesn't work, she'll be supportive of whatever we do next. And that's, that's wonderful to know that I have her in my corner no matter what. Uh, are you worried about people who will discourage you and possibly throw you off track? Well, I don't think there's anyone that's going to actively say, like, this is dumb. Why are you doing this? And I'm 30, again, what, 34 years old. Like, I don't care if someone try. I don't know. I don't care if someone's being negative to, to me. That does, that's not going to affect me. The one thing I concern I do have is that you know, for work, I have a very kind of uh, active or, or social group of people that I work with that like to go out to lunch. So that's going to be something I'll have to navigate, whether it's bringing my lunch with me or whether it's choosing my one lean and green meal, the protein and, and, and greens and healthy fat, if, and trying to steer the group to somewhere where I can order something that fits within my program or reducing the number of times I go to lunch maybe it's like a once a week thing um or eating before I go and then just being there for the social aspects of it and getting some water like I don't know what they think of that but I work with good people it's just a matter of how I navigate that so that it doesn't feel like I'm um 
isolating myself from them, I'm still making those social connections because I think those are important. So that's going to be something interesting to navigate. I'll update on that, how that goes as well, if, if that's maybe a concern you have as well. And then list any upcoming events, celebrations, or vacations you have coming up. I picked the worst time in the world to start something like this, okay? Thanksgiving is next week. Next week. Turkey. Green bean casserole. Pumpkin pie. Stuffing. All that stuff. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes to some of it. Like the stuff that is okay for me. Um, but the stuff that is not, which is most of the stuff I said, absent like the turkey, um, I'm going to say not this time. And I waffled uh, a little bit on like, should I do it before? Should I just wait for the holidays to pass? Because, okay, Thanksgiving, then two weeks after that, actually a week, yeah, two weeks after that, I go on a business trip and I'll be, um, I'll be out of town for, uh, three and a half days, I'll be, all my meals will be like catered with big groups and nice fancy dinners and lunches and stuff like that. Um, so how am I going to navigate that? We'll put a, my coach and I, we're going to put a plan into action and, and, and we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get through it. Um, so I'll, I'll update on that. That same week is my birthday. And then two weeks later is Christmas. We can for that New Year's. So again, I've picked the absolute worst time. So thinking about when I want to start, do I want to start now? Do I want to start after the holidays, the birthday, everything? And I decided, maybe the right decision, maybe not, I don't know. But I decided, let's do it now. If I can do this now, I can do it anytime. If I can get through, Siri is sorry. So I don't know what she did. She's sorry a lot to me. We don't have that great of a relationship, if I'm being honest. If I can make it through the next six weeks, I can make it through the next 60 weeks. Uh, and so this is a challenge to myself. Get through the next six weeks. Stay on program. Be strong. I'm going to be highly motivated this next week for sure. And then if I see some weight come off, I'm going to be even more motivated. So I'm going to hit, my coach is coming to Thanksgiving, so that helps a lot. I'll have that, that peer pressure of my coach, who, uh, who even told me, like, if you want to take off Thanksgiving, that's totally up to you. But I told her, no, I want, to, I want to stay on program. I want to do this. I want to do it right. And, you know, I, I, let's, let's, let's get this done. Let's do it. That's, that's my attitude right now. And I feel like, if I can just get through this part, the rest is going to be a breeze. It probably won't be, but that's what I'm telling myself. So, okay, uh, that's all the questions that uh, on this paper that I'm going to answer right now. So let's go check out the box. I'll do the unboxing, then I'll do the weigh-in and, um, and the measurements and all that. And then we'll call this, this video good. Okay, so I've uh, cut open the box. Let's open it up and see what is inside. This is my first... Optavia shipment uh, so there should be enough for uh, four weeks usually but I think they were running like maybe some kind of promotion sorry for any noises you might be hearing um, and so I got an extra week okay so all right lots of stuff in here we've got hearty red bean vegetable chili here we go there we go um, I'm not gonna show you all the stuff in here Uh, a plus video content right here. This was the uh, the decadent chocolate brownie. I think this is a sign I'm not supposed to have the brownies. So, all right, stuff these back in here. Oh, it goes back in nicely at least. What do we got? I have a feeling that's gonna keep happening. The uh, oh, cinnamon swirl cake. So one of the interesting things, there's a lot of like sweet stuff, which maybe goes against what you would think about a program like this. All the food's supposed to be, you know, scientifically okay, doctorally approved, whatever it is. So I'm totally buying in and gonna eat it and enjoy it. Hopefully it tastes good. Campfire s'mores, crisp, okay. 
Lots of other food in here. Got the shaker bottle. There's some shakes in here. Some shakes. Okay. Um, let's see. More non-food stuff. Let's find non-food stuff. Okay. Welcome to Optavia. Some kickoff tips. Okay, more tips. Let's see. More food. I'm going to have so much fun organizing all this food in my cabinets. All right, here's more books. Here's the uh, Optavia guide. Your first 30 days of integration to lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. So lots of steps, building healthy habits. What is a lean and green? We talked about a lean and green a little bit. So excited to go through all of this. Learn about the program. Let's see. Some books. I'm back in college. Ooh, just had a flashback. Not a good one. Your life book. So when I, I don't know much about this. From what I do know, um, this is the book about you write down your thoughts. There's lots of maybe introspection that happens, uh, different elements of weight loss and things like that. Um, so there is some homework with the program, which I think is a good thing. All right. Dr. A, so I, I think this is the guy who, at least uh, he started the program. Uh, I think he was like a, he was some kind of medical doctor at a hospital for a long time and felt like he wasn't helping as many people as he could. He was treating uh, symptoms but not underlying causes. And anyways, that's something about what I know. I don't know much about him, but... I guess I'm going to learn a lot. Whoa, this is a big book. Uh, this is like the reference guide, I guess. So if you have any questions about what you can and can't eat or about the program, I'm assuming the answers are in here somewhere. This is not a read it cover to cover in one night type of book. Uh, I think this is more of a kind of reference companion. So the rest is more food. Uh, there's a mix of like shakes and bars and meals and uh, the the idea behind it from what I understand is that they're all if you look they're all kind of 110 calories 110 calories 110 calories all with like 11 to 14 grams of protein around 10 to 15 grams of carbohydrates a little bit of fat so they're all kind of the same from a macronutrient perspective so it doesn't really matter what you choose as your fueling for any of the five fuelings, just that you have one, um, like three hours apart. So, all right, that's the unboxing. I have some work to do to get this all put away. And uh, keep watching for the, uh, the before pictures, my, my weigh-in and the measurements, and then we'll call this, uh, this video good.